The entire Western world is, they're on a path to just cuck everyone. All of history was built by men, always has been. Yep. And a future that isn't built by men has never been tested, and I don't think it's gonna work out particularly well for mankind. Like, yeah. well, what is a queer future? Like, in what crazy perverse world are babies born in little test tubes and everyone's gay? Everyone, most of the people in America, literally just like America. Howdy folks, I'm Anthony Dream Johnson, 21 Studios here in Warsaw, Poland. I'm here with my man, Andrew Tate, Cobra Tate. Thanks for coming out, man. Good to 100%. meet you, friend. Good to Hell meet yeah. you. It's been awesome meeting you. We met last night. Uh, had some food, cigars, drinks, a lot of drinks. <laughs> a few, uh, a few, a few. You yeah, were sober before that too, for like a day or something like that. I, I quit drinking. I, I, I periodically, because for like seven years of my life, I didn't drink. Yeah. So periodically, I like quit drinking for six months at a time. So I decided to quit drinking. Yeah. Then I met you the next day. Yeah. And 24 yeah. hours later, I was drunk. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's how it goes. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm quit only, again today. I'm gonna quit yeah, again. Yeah. We'll see how long that lasts. We'll, we'll work <laughs> on it, man. Yeah. It's been uh, so. Let's talk about you, though. You are you are one hell of a character in the manosphere. You were like probably the ultimate bad boy in the manosphere. Our very own Dan Blazarian, maybe even above that. Yeah, I know. I've got I've got some people who think I'm completely bad for the space. I got some people who think I make the space interesting. Let so. me make myself clear. I think you're absolutely wonderful for the space. You and your brother both. It's, 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 yeah. You this know, is, it's really nice to have someone say something nice about you once yeah. in a while. Thank oh, you, yeah. friend. Thank Fuck you. Yeah. Thank you. I think the world needs a lot more bad boys and a lot more alphas. Yeah, and I think that, you know, a whole part of being who you are and we, all the things we preach in Red Pill is being unashamedly who you yeah. are. Like, this is who I am, this is what zero I do. Apology. Zero apology. Yeah, zero apology. And I don't, it's not something I put on, it's not something I fake. People yeah. think I'm playing a character. It's like, yeah. no, this is who I am. This yes. is what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam. If you don't like yeah. it, don't follow me. You know, yeah. it's just, and I think that's a whole, that's, that's basically what the Red Pill teaches. But then when yeah. people do it, some people get upset by it because they don't like what they see. Yeah. Am I supposed to hide and, and mask certain parts of my, Personality, it doesn't make sense to me. Let's talk a little bit about your history too for the guys that don't know you. You're a world champion kickboxer four times over. Yep. Uh, you're a multimillionaire, you and your brother both. Yep. You are both American and British, but yep. you live in Romania. Yep. Uh, a couple more facts beyond that? Yeah, so uh, pretty mixed up history. I was originally a chess player when I was a kid. I played okay. chess professionally. Um, my father was a chess player. And then uh, when my mother and father split up, we moved to England. Okay. And I missed chess, there was no real chess scene in England like there was in America, so I decided to, to take up the next best thing. To me, was fighting, and everyone goes, chess, to fight, because chess is seen as like geeky, and yeah, then yeah, fighting's yeah. fighting. To, yeah. to them, they're very dissimilar, but to me, they're very similar. It's still, it's So still, you were born in America? I was born in America. Fuck born yeah, in, fuck yeah. Yeah, born in Washington, D.C. on Andrews Air Force Base. So nice. I was born, on, born in the capital, and then we lived in Goshen, Indiana. Ooh. Yeah. And then uh, party town. And then, uh, yeah, moved to England. So grew up in England, gave up chess, started kickboxing, and then had a, a successful kickboxing career, made a little bit of money, and then ended up moving to Eastern Europe for a bunch of political reasons. I yeah, think yeah. there's a whole bunch of political reasons to be out here as opposed to Western Europe. Yeah, it's West my first time here in Eastern Europe at all, and I am absolutely loving it. I've toured other parts of Europe, Scandinavia, Amsterdam, Britain, shit like that. Yeah. And this is, I'm really impressed. I've heard all the stories, and it's next level. It's, it's the only place yeah. you can be free in Europe left. Yeah. I mean, really, Western Europe is the dystopian future of the USA. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's completely liberal, it's completely cucked, it's, uh, they've passed all these laws to censor your speech. Anything they deem hateful yeah. is... is, is yeah, even tweets and shit, they'll come to even your house. Even tweets. Crazy. Bro, I, I'll send you some newspaper articles. There was a yeah. woman who misgendered a transsexual on Twitter and got arrested in front of her three-year-old kid. Yeah. Put in a jail cell for 12 Sick, hours. Man. It's like, yeah. it's insane. Because if, as soon as they pass laws saying that you're not allowed to say anything hateful against a certain group, it sounds like a good law, but then they yeah. just completely abuse the law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all these people are being arrested for no reason. You can't speak, you can't have an opinion. Yeah. And it's all just going downhill very quickly. So I like the way you put that though. The Western Europe is like a dystopian future for America. Because I, I was saying the other day that Eastern Europe, especially not here Poland, it almost feels futuristic in a positive way for America. It feels very positive and very masculine, very feminine here. Like it's a very healthy, uh, very healthy culture I'm seeing. Well, this I'm is loving the, it. This is the crazy thing. The crazy thing about it all is, without a family unit and without, you know, children and without people who are happy to be married and be together and, and, and give birth to, to babies, there is no future yeah. anyway. Yeah. Like, we talk about future, what's yeah. the future? I read, a, new, I read a, a newspaper article about that Desmond is Amazing kid and he was wearing a t-shirt saying, the future is queer. And I sat and, oh, and, I sat and thought, okay, That's but fucked. there is no such thing as a queer future. Yeah. It takes heterosexual sex to even create a baby. Like, yeah. well, what is a queer future? Like, yeah. In what crazy perverse world are babies born in little test tubes and everyone's gay? And it's just like, the whole thing is messed it's up. It's super retarded. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, you know, heterosexuality. Plus, plus it's wrong. The future is masculine, of course. Well, so we're working on it. All of the history has always been masculine. Yeah. 
and and, and fem- patriarchal and all that. Yeah, yeah, and females try and pretend that that's a bad idea and that we somehow oppress them, and that's why I think the biggest mistake is made because. In my experience of the world, and in fact, if you look at the, ge- the genuine history of the world, all the hell men went through yeah. was to protect women. Yeah. You know, we were the ones who died in the Titanic yeah. to protect women. We're the ones who went to war to protect our wives and children at yep. home. We, if, if men really exploited women, why did we not sit and send our women to war? Yeah. Because they can the, send their women, we we'll send nations. our women, it's a yeah. fair fight, we'll stay at home. Yeah. No, we, we, we went built, to do it. We built all of civilization and they benefit from it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and okay. Did they have a price to pay? No, they had a role to play. Yeah. They had a role, and their role was to support us. And a that very important role. And a very important role, and it's yeah. absolutely not a role to be demonized or looked down on, and it's nothing they should be ashamed of. But yeah. all of history was built by men, yep. always has been. Yep. And a future that isn't built by men has never been tested, and I don't think it's gonna work out particularly well for mankind. That's yeah. my personal view, because it's never but, been tested. Yeah, yeah. So we're sitting here going, well, yeah. it's gonna be great, we don't even know. Yeah, you know? and, I'm, and, I'm 100% the same page, man. And yeah. what we've seen so far, with a female, you know, with the female imperative on society, is it getting better? I don't think society is getting any yeah, better. Yeah, it gets worse. It gets worse because yeah. there's a whole bunch of reasons I could talk about this forever, but just even the most basic things about the fact that how a lot of women aren't instinctively territorial and these kind of things, you look at the feminist run countries. They also and can't lead men. Men don't follow women, like, period. Well, yeah, well, exactly. And they're thinking, well, if we feminize the men, they'll listen to us. Yeah, they may, the Western men that you feminize may listen, but the psychos you let in from third world won't listen to you. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> Then what? <laughs> because this is what's happening in Sweden. Yeah, they have a yeah, feminist-run yeah. government. The Swedish men have become cut, but they've let in so many psychos that rape's gone up 4,000% in two I years. Think, I think even in the West, though, the Western men, they eventually just rebel or they just kill themselves. Yeah. Suicide's super high, depression, all that kind of bullshit. See, so, yeah, that's crazy. So let's talk about this, though. So you were known as this notorious bad boy in the manosphere. You run a campsite, all these hot-ass girls and shit. You travel yeah. around the world, drive super fast cars and shit. Uh, you know, even in Romania with the, you know, the roads and shit, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you gotta do what you gotta do. But you're a very pro-family like me. Yeah. And a lot of people don't understand that. They probably don't believe that, but yeah. I do, because I get it. I'm Absol- on a very similar page. Abs- absolutely. They, people have this idea that you, you must pick a side. Yeah. You're a playboy, or you are absolutely and utterly a uh, complete tradcon. And yeah. I don't believe that. I was extremely happy with my upbringing. If, if you, anyone who's watched my Twitter knows, I was super, I super really believed I had the best father in the world. Yeah. And my father was absolutely a renegade. He was a world level chess player who traveled the world, played chess here and there, gambled all his money, fucked anything that moved, and that's who he was. <laughs> and he was a hero, and he's my hero. Like yeah. he was a G. Like, yeah. I never sat there and thought, oh, I wish he stayed home and watched cartoons with me. And he had three kids. And you, he had three children. And yeah, exactly. He had three children yeah. that we know about, and <laughs> maybe a couple others. And, and that's who he was. And he did his job as a father fantastically, and, and he can do it a couple days a week because a father, if you're good enough, can instill discipline and instill values. Yeah. You haven't got to be there all the time. I, I really do believe that's a mother's job and I was happy with the way I was raised and I look at him you know it's actually funny I'll tell you a quick story about him when mm-hmm. when my mom and dad split up uh, we moved to England and my sister stopped talking to my dad because my obviously my mom was upset because he split up and my dad cheated and my sister stopped talking to that and me and, yeah and me, me and my and me and my brother me and, me and, me and, can we just explain the quotation cheated. Marks for cheating? okay we can explain it we'll explain cheating yeah. um, uh, <laughs> I'll come back to it in a second. I mean, she should have expected it. I mean, just well, who it was. you know, but yeah. um, when, when my sister stopped talking to my dad, me and my brother obviously still spoke to him, and he said, boys, when you're older, you'll, you'll understand. Mm. And I'm, now I'm older, I understand. Yeah. yeah. He, he fucked a girl, so? Yeah. So? Yep. And this is what I mean by cheated. This whole idea of cheated, to me, is it's, it's, it's propagated by, obviously, Western society. It's propagated by the, the powerful females, this idea that no man should ever dare fuck anyone but them. And to me, it's asinine. I have, I have a relationship. I've been in a relationship for six years. Mm. I fuck anything that moves. She knows I do it. Yeah. And she stays with me anyway. Yeah. And, and the reality is because I've never hidden it. I've never lied about it. Yeah. It's, not, it's her choice. She can leave if she wants to leave. Yeah. She decides to stay with me because I've always been honest with who, her about who I am and what I want from life. And, and I'm guessing she enjoys the hell out of that. Well, you know, yeah. she, she sits there and she, she often says to me, she laughs. She goes, these other girls, they get with you. It makes me laugh that they think you'd ever be any other way. Yeah, like, yeah, it makes me laugh yeah, that yeah. they think you, as you are, is going to yeah. be the guy who's like, oh, okay, I'll sit home, okay, yeah. I won't go out. Like, I do what I fucking want. Yeah, it's delusional. Yeah, they, it's they, delusional. They yeah. You know, if you're, a, if you're a red-blooded male <clears throat> and, and you're living a life that you want to live, you're going to do certain things. Now, yeah. if I have a woman who I love and I have women who I fuck who I don't love, what's she got to worry about? Yeah. You know? And, and this is, the, this is the, ba- the big thing with it, and this is what I try to explain to some of the other red pill guys who don't like me is that really sexual exclusivity is just a matter of proving 
uh, that you care about the person. This is how a woman proves she cares about you. Yeah. I'm sexually exclusive to you, I care about you. That's fine, that's how women prove they care. Men can prove they care other ways. Yeah. I can say to my girl, look, you're the only one who I own a property with, you're the only one I take on holiday, you're the only one I do this, 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 and this, but I fuck a bunch of guys. Yeah. So she still knows I care about her above the others. And the reason for that too is it's all about feelings for women, right? Absolutely. They, they, if they feel you care about them, they feel you love about them, then that's it. Absolutely. Yeah, the physical stuff, it's whatever to them. Absolutely, so yeah. when guys go to me, oh, you're lying, your girl wouldn't let you do that, or she's fucking she's other people too. I'm like, no, that's not true. That's 0% that's yeah. true. She, ain't talk, she isn't talking to any other men at all. She knows what I do. And yep. she accepts it because that's who I am as a person and I've never hid that and yeah. I don't think it's an unhealthy attitude to have. I really don't believe it's unhealthy. No, I see it as a really high quality self-expression. You're just doing what the fuck you're gonna do. You're, you're honest about it, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and this is it. When you when all like the, the pickup guys and red pill guys that talk about frame all the yeah. time, and they're also about frame, and I say, well, well, that's basically all I'm doing. This is yeah. the life I'm gonna live. Yeah. You're either part of it or you're not. Yep. But this is the life I'm gonna live. This yeah. is who I wanna be. I wanna feel free. It's not about fucking girls. It's, to me, it's not about girls. It's about being free. I don't like the idea of anyone being telling, co- me, being telling co- me what I can do. Yeah, it's about being Cobra fucking Tate. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's about. I, I don't like the idea of having anyone, a, a wife, a chick, anyone saying you can't do this. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I do what I want. Yeah. If you, tell me, if you tell me I can't, I'm going to do it more. <laughs> <laughs> so, fucking great. Yeah, so, this is fucking so, awesome. So that's how it is. And, you know, they either, they either comply or they leave. And some leave and some yeah. stay. Yeah, there's Next a speaker you got to meet someday from uh, the United States, Hypnotica, Eric Von Sydow. Okay. He lives a very similar life. Uh, I think his, tr- his wife's Romanian. Yeah. He runs a strip club. He fucks all these women, but she loves him. You know, they've been together for like 12 years now. Exactly. Yeah, and kind of California is great. And he's awesome, dude. You, yeah. like, you like him a lot. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, let's switch topics a little bit. So... We were talking last night about Donald Trump, Alex Jones. Yeah. What are your opinions on uh, Alex Jones and then Donald Trump? Alex Jones, I think, is one of the greatest men on the planet. Agreed. I really do 100% believe. 100% agree. I, I think if, if you're going to judge a man by his passion and his patriotism, yep. then, then he's number one. Yeah. You, you, there's no one more passionate and patriotic than Alex Jones. Yeah. He loves America, yep. and he'll tell you that. Yeah. You know? and, and he is who he is, right? He is who he is. And some people say he's a bit crazy and he's a bit too far, but my view is this. It, the entire world needs balance. You need yin and yang. And if you look at how crazy the leftists have become, yeah. and how nuts they are, yep. maybe he's a tiny bit over the mark sometimes. You need some balance in the, lo- in the world, because they, they've gone so far psycho land. So you see him as a good pushback against the far left, Absolutely. crazy socialist, Absolutely. communist Absolutely. We shit. Need, we need Alex Jones. Yeah. We didn't have him. Who would we even have yeah. besides Trump himself, who's genuinely conservative anymore? Yeah. We don't even have anyone who's genuinely conservative. And what's crazy is this, I don't even really consider myself too much of a conservative. Mm. Although I'm kind of, I've ended up there, there's a whole bunch of issues that I don't care about. I, I don't care about global warming. Is it happening? Maybe. Don't give a shit. I don't. I don't I, oh, are, are, you know, some people really deny it. Some people really believe in it. Yeah. Don't give a fuck. The, I don't really care about abortion. If women want to do dumb shit with their bodies and, and fuck their own lives up and kill their own kids, go do it then. Like, I'm, I'm not going to be the guy forcing women to have kids. I don't care. But all I really believe in is it's a strong immigration law and, and protecting your country and putting your country first. Patriotism. And, and patriotism. And as yeah. soon as you're patriotic nowadays, you're instantly a yeah. far-right, alt-right Nazi yeah. because you believe that your country shouldn't completely submit and throw its history and heritage Poland, away. of course, is amazing for that. This country, they love, they're so in love with their own country, it's amazing. Well, it's because like, they've it's been heaven. through shit. Yeah, they're a lot of shit. They've been through yeah. a lot of shit and they've yeah. been fucked up a lot of times by a lot of people and they yeah. finally got their such shit together. They're like, no, we're not losing, we're not losing this again. Yeah. And that's, and that's the thing, and we all know the old adage that uh, hard times create strong men, strong yeah. men create good times, da da da. We all know that, yeah. and it's, it's absolutely true. America's had it easy for a long time. Yeah. And, and now everyone, most of the people in America, literally just like America. They're yeah. sitting there saying, oh, this is not fair, they're not nice because I'm this, because I'm black, because I'm Muslim, because whatever, 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 this place ain't good, this place Victim is racist, Olympics this place, like this that. place. Well, yeah. Fucking leave then. Yeah. And they don't understand that in Go many Canada. other Yeah, well it's they don't understand that in most other countries you can't do that. Yeah. You can't come to Poland, start walking around to everyone in Poland saying Poland's a show. Yeah. You can't do that. So they, the fact they even have the freedom to do that shows how great a country America is. Yeah. But there's some there's some huge experiment going on. I'm not gonna get too conspiracy theorist with it, but the entire Western world is they're on a path to just cuck everyone and divide everyone. Suicidal. And, yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. all they have to try and do is they just just divide and conquer. They just get everyone confused and upset with their own little tiny issue, their own imaginary racism, their own whatever, yeah. so they can just control us all and keep us buying shit from Amazon.com. Yeah. It's just, just consumerism, it's Amazon globalism, Prime. that's yeah. all it is. Well, let's talk about Donald Trump. What's your opinion on him? I love Trump, man. He's, I mean, he's the best we could have ever hoped for. Yeah, fuck yeah. But what kind of worries me is, considering he's the best we could ever hope for, and there's still a whole bunch of stuff that hasn't got done, yeah. doesn't that show how powerful the, the people behind all this shit are? Yeah. 
Do you know? Like, you've it's, got Trump who doesn't give a shit. It's a big fight we have ahead of us. You know? Yeah. And you've got yeah. the best soldier you could have as a president, and he's still struggling to get the wall built. He's still yeah. struggling. Still, still, people, conservatives are being censored on social we media. We picked our top alpha. We picked our top guy, <laughs> and, we're still, and we're still losing some, not losing, but we're still fighting hard on some of the important battles. Yeah. So if the next guy isn't Trump level or better, and yeah. I can't even think of anyone yet, yeah. we're going yeah. to be, we're gonna be in trouble. In my opinion, I think Trump's kind of setting, hopefully he clears the field. I think yeah. it's like a wrecking crew, like a wrecking ball. Yeah. So the guy's after him. I'm hoping for Rand Paul or someone like that. Yeah. And Rand Paul and these guys, they're learning from Trump, I think. Yeah. They're getting more savage, which is really good. That's, what, they, that's so. what we need to do. People need yeah. to finally get their shit together and yeah. just stand up and say, no, that's yeah. bullshit, fake news. Da -da. You yeah. know, it's just the yeah. first guy in a Go long time. Yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this is what you need because yep. it really is crazy that any American thinks it's a bad idea to put America first. That shows how screwed they, oh, these yeah. people's minds are. Propaganda, man. It's brainwashing. It's, it's, it's crazy because... If, if Russia had the most powerful economy in the world, or China had the most powerful economy in the world, do you think they wouldn't put themselves first? Yeah. They would absolutely, it's like playing poker, when you play poker against a guy with a big stack and you've got the short stack and they put the pressure on you and they squeeze you. Mm. Wait till China rules the world. They're gonna put a squeeze on everyone. You think they're doing a nice trade deal with anybody? They're yeah. gonna put a squeeze on everyone. Yeah. And here we are as America being nice. Oh, well, this yeah. is a small country, so they more Communism than Communism isn't very nice either. Yeah. Well, exactly. You know, they're totalitarian, and that's why they're going to win if, if we don't do something about it. So, yeah. I mean, this is, this is all the political stuff, but, yeah. you know, it's, 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 it's great to have someone who's actually in the White House who actually gives a shit about America instead of giving yeah. a shit about everyone else. Yeah. First that's president crazy. in my lifetime that I'm proud of every single day. Yep. My whole life, I've never had a president like this. Yep. Yeah, so it's been, uh, waking up in America now, it's like a whole new life, man. It's yeah. awesome. It's, he's doing a fantastic job, so yeah. I can't wait for, I'm, I'm going to make sure I'm in America on election night 2020 just to oh, see, yeah. I'm going to be yeah, in New yeah. York. I was liberal. fucking a Hillary supporter on election night. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking awful. I was like, oh, you only being grabbed by the pussy? Like, it was, it was, it was fucking dope. It was really savage. I do, I do. Total, co total accident. Like, it wasn't set up like this. I was like, oh, this is great. They all end up Trump supporters. She was literally like in tears at one point when Trump won. It was, it was fucking it was bad, dude. I don't know if I should put this on camera. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so, talking about the West, talking about America, what do you think it's going to take to save the West? How do we do that, in your opinion? Just the basic facts. Yeah, it's it's a big fight, and I think that you with with everything in life, it starts small and it cascades out. Okay. And when we talk about, it's it's difficult to talk about one issue without absolutely everything being linked. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. So we talk about a country. Well, a country is, is is a bunch of cities, which is a bunch of states, and it's a bunch of societies, and it's, it's basically it starts. You go down and down and down and down. It's a whole bunch of families. That's all yeah, it is. Yeah. Families build societies. Societies build towns. Town build cities, and it goes outwards. So when the family unit's completely skewed and screwed up, then your whole country's gonna be skewed. skewed. Yeah. This is the reality of it. And, and even I, like I've been to 72 countries now. I've been to a lot of places. And even 73 in, now? I've been, no, been, this is 72. Okay, okay. So even in, in Eastern Europe, one of the things I noticed that keeps it together is maybe it's that, okay, not, communism wasn't a great thing, but they had communism for a long time. But maybe it's just simply they have stronger family ties here yeah. than they do in the West. Because it's tough, maybe. Because it's tougher. And also, like, okay, I'll give you an example. If I go on, I've been on dates with 25-year-old girls in Romania, 25, and they'll say, I've got to be home at 11, my dad said so. 25. Yeah. Damn. You show me an 18-year-old girl in America even doesn't give a shit where it yeah. is. You know? So even just, just basic things like that, and it keeps the, the unity of the family together. There's far less divorce. I'm not saying people don't get divorced. I'm not saying it's not perfect. But they had this idea, the yeah. older generation, you get married, you're married. Tough. Yeah. And that's how they, they stuck things out a bit more. And you yeah. know, and when families sit together, things things transcend across the whole society. America used to be like that too, but that's changed. It's feminism past 50 years and shit, so. Well, the thing, and so we talk about families. Yeah, we see families just sit together, this is gonna fix everything. Well, why do families not sit together anymore? Because what's the incentive for most men to put up with the bullshit they're getting? Yeah. What's the incentive for men to even Well, women are brainwashed too, fuck everything up at the drop of a hat. In America, we have no-fault divorce. They can get divorced for any fucking reason they want. Yep. Steal all your money, steal the kids. Yep. It's fucking crazy. It's insane. So yeah. what logical man would get married? Yeah. And this is the truth. Like, we're, we're guys who believe in family, and, and we're sitting there going, what's the fucking point in getting married? Yeah. It's, it, it's a suicide. It's dangerous as hell, yeah. 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 I really want to do it too. It's like, I know we were talking about that last night over yeah. dinner. And you know, I want to build a family, and I'm trying to figure out how to do that. I'm building conventions and, and finding speakers and ideas to, to figure out how to do that. Yep. Because I'm a 30 year old American living yep. in Florida, you know, yep. born and raised. I'm like, how the fuck do I do this? It's like so fucking dangerous. It, it's literally dangerous because yeah. you're signing up to being financially ruined. You could end up in jail for not paying a, some child support. Or this some is gambling insanity. at this point, man. Yeah, it's crazy. And this is a Western phenomenon, whereas in, in the other countries like like Eastern Europe, you don't have these problems. Yeah, so. I'm, walk, I'm walking around in Poland. Holy shit! Look, the fuck is going on with this? It's like yeah. military walking by. Shit. That's right. You ain't fucking with Poland. Yeah. But Poland, you know, uh, this is the first country I've ever seen in my life where I've never seen more families, more babies, more couples. More toddlers running around, grandparents pushing kids around. Everybody's like, not everybody. 
but it's not fucking you know magical yeah. you know Disney World here. But these people are like happy. They build families. They're together. The children are so well behaved. It's it's unbelievable. Well, I, when you talk about the children, it's, it's, it makes me laugh a lot because mm -hmm. I look at Western kids and the shit they get away with, and I think yeah. I've never seen that over here. Yeah, like, you yeah. think you're gonna scream at your parents? I'm gonna kick the fuck. Yeah, out yeah. Of you. No, these kids are happy too, man. Of course like, they yeah. are, but they're disciplined. Yeah, which is that's which right. is. Which is which gives them a foundation for life anyway. I mean, I was yeah. I, I, I was hit when I fucked up as a kid. Mm -hmm. My kids gonna get hit when he fucks up, and I'm not gonna sit there and say anything <laughs> else. I'm gonna say it. It's yeah, true. My, yeah. If I sat and told my dad to fuck off, I got a whooping. That's how my I was raised. You know, yeah. it was his house. If I didn't like it, get the fuck out. Yeah, you know, yeah. and my kids and me raised exactly the same. But we have these all these new age experiments. I think what a lot of this stuff comes down to is it's just new age right. talk which hasn't been tried and tested. Yeah. I was talking with a girl once and I was saying about how I got hit and I'm gonna hit my kid if he fucks up. I'm not saying I'm gonna abuse my kid, I'm not saying I'm gonna beat my kid up. I'm saying if they make a mistake, they're gonna get slapped. And she goes, you can't do that, that that's bad for them, it hurts their development. And I said, since the dawn of human time, since humans existed, kids got hit when they made mistakes. Yeah. Since the dawn of human time, we still managed to go from a small tribe to populate the entire earth, we still went to the moon, we still put the Panama Canal, we built cities, built the pyramids, we did all these amazing things with kids getting hit. Built America. We built America, and you're yeah. saying that it's bad for development. Well, look at all the things we've achieved. Yeah. And now you're coming along saying we must stop immediately. Yeah. And you don't know the future. All I know is a past where kids had discipline yeah. and, and things were fine. Yeah. So now you're yeah, gonna yeah. come along things and say- were fun. People were chopping their dicks off, all this tranny shit. Like, yeah, and now look what's happened. Yeah. And, they're like, and, and none of the, all this is new age garbage. And yeah. a lot of it's just down to a complete lack of discipline. Garbage. But it is. Yeah. When you remove discipline from a child's life, then they, they lack the ability to be disciplined on Especially themselves Especially boys, right? I mean, boys and girls are different, obviously, and the boys without that, they become little pussy, you know, so by bitches and shit. Well, this, this is the thing. Life is <clears> difficult. <throat> Rocky has the best quote on it. I can't remember exactly, but nothing's going to beat you up as hard as life. Yeah. This is it. Life is difficult. I, yeah. Everyone has bad news all the time. Pe people come to me and they think, oh, yeah, you got this great life. Bro, I'll tell you something. This is God's honest truth story. I bought 30 grand of a shit coin about two years ago, and it got hacked a year and a half ago. I didn't give a fuck. I read the same story. On the way to Poland, I checked with $676,000. Damn. And so shit happens to people. Did you, you say know? it was shit coin? You mean Bitcoin? No, it was some little tiny uh, coin, okay. some project. What the fuck? Is, what some the fuck is shit, shit coin, coin <laughs> like a shitty, <laughs> shitty Bitcoin. But um, but shit, the things happen to people, and, and yeah. things are going to happen to everyone. And even if you live the perfect life, you're still going to have bad experiences because everything's relative. Yeah. So small things going to be big. Yeah. And you have to learn to get on with it and be disciplined. And if you don't have a disciplined upbringing, you don't learn to go through hard times, you're just going to end up one of those people who just is a complete feather in the wind. You just succumb to your emotions. Yeah. And that makes you either a pussy or, as a man, also makes you dangerous. Mm. These people, these serial killers and these school shooters and these all these things, these are people who just give in on their emotions instantly. These yeah. are people with no self-control. They never have fathers around. They never have fathers around. 99% of them in America, they're from a single mother kind of type home or some shit, no father around. And they never had anyone sit and say to them, I don't care how you feel, you're not allowed to act that way. Yeah. And that's it. So when they feel a certain way, they think, well, I'm going to act this way then. Yeah. And, and that's what's dangerous. And then when, they, when people talk about, oh, toxic masculinity and all this garbage and we need to make men more feminine, that's not going to make men it's not gonna make the world safer. Yeah. Having a whole bunch of men who give in to their emotions instantly is gonna create more monsters. Yeah. A bunch of babies and a bunch of monsters. It can make someone confused create. and fucked up and all kinds of stuff, yeah. The, 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 rea the reality of masculinity is controlling your emotions. This is the reality of being a man. Mm. They try and say that men should give in and it's okay to cry. I'm not saying you can never cry if something bad doesn't happen to you. I'm saying that the, the tenets of masculinity since the dawn of time have been, I was afraid, but I did it anyway. Yeah. This is the tenets of masculinity. Courage. I, courage. Yeah. I, that's what courage is. Yep. I was afraid to storm the beaches of Normandy, but I did it anyway. I was afraid to stay on the Titanic, but I did it anyway. This is the whole tenets of masculinity. And now they're saying, oh, if you're afraid, just act afraid to be a pussy. Are you familiar with Jack Donovan's work, by the way? I know him. Yeah, yeah. I know some of his work. I haven't read it all. You'll like it a lot. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's good shit. All about this masculinity, the characteristics, the virtues. Yeah. But it's, it's absolutely true. Yeah. And, and, and when, I, when a building's on fire and you need a fireman to run into the burning building, yeah. it's you not need a masculinity. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like, it's, yeah. just, it's just some strange, these women are acting out. And, and what's crazy is this, all of the women who believe in this, you know, feminism, anti-masculinity garbage, every time I've met one of them in person, they're more desperate for a real man than anybody. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. They, like, every time yeah. I've ever met one in person, after the first half an hour of it's just a fake them, shell. They put of course on. it is. Yeah. It's, it's all fake. And as soon as they realize you're a man that doesn't bow to their bullshit, they want you. Oh yeah. And so it's they like want it bad. It, they want the belt. It, it, of course they do. <laughs> so it's all garbage. Yeah. It's all garbage. It's just garbage on a macro level. Well, let's talk about. You mentioned women. Let's talk about men and women. Like where in the West, in America, UK, Canada, where have men and women gone wrong? Let's start with men and then go into women. I think yeah, both sides certainly have a part to play. Yeah. You know, both sides certainly have a part to play because women are the gatekeepers to the sexual marketplace. This is the thing. Women are the gatekeepers. We're the ones who want it and women are the ones who, who, who stop us getting it effectively. Yeah. So in many ways, women could control the world. 
and they could control the world completely differently than they do. If, if, if I had the, the ability to control all women, if they said, look, I only want to fuck masculine alpha guys, you'd have a whole bunch more masculine alpha guys around. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in a lot of ways, women drive a direction. When women sit and go, I want sensitive, I want this, I want that, I want this. This is where a lot of these pussy guys come from. Yeah. Because they sit there and go, ah. Oh, well, they're I'm... listening to the bullshit coming out of her mouth, which exactly. is all nonsense. Exactly. Yeah. So I think some of the biggest mistakes men make is listening to girls. Okay. Girls don't know what they fucking want. Yeah. Girls don't know what they want. Ask a girl what she wants to eat. Yeah. She doesn't know what she wants. She doesn't know what they want with anything. Well, you mean she doesn't know what she wants on like a on like a you know a very conscious level. Instinctually, she knows what she wants. Absolutely, instinctually. Yeah. I, I say this all the time to people because I have uh, courses and everything on how to get girls, and people say to me, oh advice on this, advice on that. And I say, I say this all the time. Women don't fuck guys they like. They fuck guys they respect. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, plenty yeah, of, yeah there's plenty yeah, of girls yeah. who hate me. Yeah. They still fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, you know what? You're a dickhead. I'm you like, miss all kinds of girls blowing your DMs up. And, yeah, yeah all the time. They're like, you, literally, yeah. oh, you know, you're a dickhead, yeah, but yeah. it would be interesting to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> like, Dude, I, I, drop so, I drop soap commercials and shit. You know, all that, you know, yeah, yeah. the funny shit and girls just blow up my Instagram and shit. It's funny. Yeah. Nudes and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? This is great. That's how it is. More soap. More soap. Because, because they, because they want guys they respect. It's not about like. Yeah. You know, it's nothing to do with like, it's about respect. So it, when, when, when guys say to me, okay, well, how do I make women respect me? Well, I say, well, how do you respect yourself? That's the first thing. No one's gonna respect you if you don't respect yourself. Mm. Do other men respect you? Like, what, yeah. how do you act in a way that, that commands respect from anybody? Yeah. And this is what it's all basically about. A, lo a lot of the red pill stuff, a lot of the dating coach stuff, one of the reasons I don't really teach games so much is I say, look, if you focus on yourself and make yourself be who you are, being a high value male, women will detect it and it won't be so difficult yeah. for you as opposed to trying to masquerade all the time. And so then the specifics you're saying people, men will figure out as, we, as they go on. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I think that's what it is. I mean, if I, when I have sons and they ask me like, what do I do about this girl, that girl? I say, you just be the man, Yeah. fuck her, you be you. And, and that's the frame you need anyway. A lot of the way I learned, like the things I teach in the PhD course and even having the webcam company, I learned most of what I learned about girls from fighting because when I was fighting, I was so preoccupied and so busy and I wouldn't let any woman take me off my mission because I know that if I get in the cage and get an ass whooping, mm. she's gonna leave me anyway. Yeah. So why am I gonna miss training to take her out? So you withdrew all the attention. So I withdrew all the attention. I was yeah, like, no, yeah. and I, I was so focused on something else mm. and I saw how crazy that drove them. Yeah. So even yeah, when yeah, I quit yeah, fighting, yeah. I was like, okay, well that's how you play the game. You know, they, they, they want, oh, I want this. In why your opinion, do women want dick more or attention? Well, and this is this is the thing. And Maybe this, it's a trick question. It's, well, <laughs> dick, is con dick is concentrated attention. Okay. Dick is focused attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. It's yeah, all yeah, your attention. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't focused on anything else. Yeah. yeah. So w women's, I, 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 once again, not to plug or anything, but in my course, we talk about weaponizing your attention because that's the only thing a man I has. I say plug away. What's the website? It's it's cobratake.com, and okay. I've got a course on there that basically explains how I got girls to work for me. For Tate's my PhD, right? It's a PhD course, Pimping yeah. Hose Degree. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I was wondering what it PhD, Pimping Hose Degree. <laughs> I've seen it. I just didn't know what the PhD meant. I was like, is this his PhD in Pimpology? Like, what is this? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I basically explained how I got girls and how I got them to work for me. Okay. So it's not just about picking up girls, it's about co like converting them into really loving you enough to moving in with you and working yeah. for you and giving you all the money. Yeah, yeah I, heard, I remember hearing your story uh, you know, privately one time on Google Hangout. It was yeah. a pretty epic epic story for businessmen. Yeah. Yeah, it was and, badass shit. Yeah, and, and, and I, I was very successful at the webcam company. And, mm. you know, I've still got, I still do it now, not as big as I did, but I still do, I've got some of my best girls with it. But anyway, the point is, yeah, in that, in that course, I teach how I got girls and how I got them to work for me. And I realized that weaponizing your attention is the only thing you have. Mm. That's the only weapon men have in the sexual marketplace, your attention. Typically, men give attention to get sex and girls give sex to keep getting attention. So that's your primary kind of tool or uh, that's your tool. Resor resource. That's your only resource. Yeah. Because yeah. even you talk about money and all this shit, that's all garbage. The only resource you have is your attention. And the reason it's so difficult is because now women get so much attention for no reason. Yeah then why does your attention have value? Yeah. So you have to put value on your attention. Yeah. So then how do you put a value on your attention? And I, once again, I explain this to the course, but I say everything with that's valuable, like gold, is scarce. Mm. So I don't give my attention to any girl I'm not banging. I don't follow you on Instagram. I don't fucking like your pictures. Like if, you're, if we're not talking and literally actively going somewhere, my, you don't get my attention yeah. because that gives it a value. And then they start sitting there and start liking your pictures, start thinking this dude oh, yeah. ignores me. Yep. It's like, well, it's because I've got too many girls on the roster right now. I ain't got time for you. They're waiting for that follow they're back. Wait, they're waiting, they're follow waiting back. for you. are like, nope. But most guys are so thirsty. Yeah. And Because the, once the girl knows that she could get you, yeah. then she loses value. You no, know, I, I, he wants to fuck me, duh. Yeah, they want the fantasy. They want the mystery. They yeah, want the story. Absolutely. They yeah. want the, and, and it's the same with us men. I say this to all the guys I coach. I say, how many times have you had a girl and she was good on paper, but she was just too available and you couldn't be bothered? Yeah. So, so imagine now imagine it from a girl's perspective. You're way too available for her. It's, it's not yeah. too complicated. And And... The crazy thing about all of this, and I try and teach this in the courses, if you approach this all like a game and you can be very cerebral about it, that's fine. But if you just make it who you are, it's fucking easier. 
Yeah. For me, it's who I am. If you're I'm saying so you inter- like Rolo talks about like internalizing it. I think that's what you're saying. Or- I've just become that guy. Yeah, I'm that guy. You, you don't want to fuck me. I don't want to talk to you. Yep, fuck off. That's it. That's, <laughs> it's not a game. Yep. And and that's not me being a horrible person. It's like you don't want what you don't want to give me what I want. I don't want to give you. Yeah. Bye. Well, your time's valuable. You're gonna die someday. And, we don't. I don't know when it's gonna be. I don't absolutely. know when I'm gonna die too. Yeah. So so when I'm on Twitter and I'm arguing with these feminists and I say I don't have female friends, they're like, oh, you're such a so, no. I just don't have. I don't want to sit around and buy dinner for a girl. I'm not banging. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to do that. I don't. If I want to sit and talk, I'll talk to guys. I don't. I don't see what I'm talking to a woman about unless it's leading somewhere. Yeah. You know, or, or or we have a relationship. I don't see what the platonic. We're going to discuss vampire diaries. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Ironically enough, you live in your Dracula's castle. I, right? Well, yeah, I'll give her a vampire diary. We'll go up and stay there for the yeah, night. Yeah, you know, yeah, you want to yeah. stay with me? We'll talk. Otherwise, so you fucked any girls at Dracula's castle? You um, can, you can, you can rent the suite up there. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, oh, it's like a hotel and shit. You can guess. Oh yeah, that's totally. <laughs> it's, it's pretty nice though. Yeah, I gotta go to Romania. I hear it's great. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's 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 like it's like Poland thirty years ago. It's a bit more rough around the edges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah good, good. But, uh, it sounds nice cool. and nice and tough. Nice yeah, and rough, it, yeah. It, there's there's no soy in Romania. There's, yeah, you know, there's none of that. They're they're fully right wing. So let's get a little more specific too about women. How have women fucked up in the West, and how can they do better? I have that thing you saw last time I had make women great again. So I have a whole convention in building in 2020 for that in spring. Yeah. I'd love for you to be there, by the way. Yep. But how can women do better? Like in Poland, I'm loving it. These women yep. are doing a lot better than in America. Yep. American women, I already knew that beforehand, yep. but like I really understand that not being here. Like these women are feminine. They know they're beautiful, they're yep. joyful, they're graceful and shit. Yep. So beyond, you know, beyond what we're seeing here, how can women in America do better? How can they stop fucking up? Okay, so this is a really good question. And, I'm, and my view on this is probably gonna piss off a lot of the Red Pill guys. Excellent. Here, here we go. So <laughs> buckle up, haters, mother. So um, my first view is this. Girls who instinctively just respect men by default because they're men are, are, I've met a few of them and I'm not sure that's a good idea and I'm telling you why. Mm. Girls who just go, well, I'm a girl and I respect men as a whole, any man I respect, they usually end up being hoes. Mm. I kind of, I've kind of detected and I've seen like girls who just respect men by default end up just fucking loads of dudes because mm. they respect men by default and any guy who talks to them and they kind of just fuck it loads of dudes. So you mean I, like they say they respect men or you like feel they respect men? I both? don't know, I, men who, women who are just too, uh, when any man gives them attention, well he's a man and I'm a girl and they just kind of give in too easily. Because mm. look, the idea is we all want our girl to be ours, don't we? Yeah. So you don't want some other dude to talk to your chick and she's like, oh he's a man. So you, you don't want women to just respect all men by default, you want women to respect you. Mm. That's what you want. Mm. I like that my woman respects me and hates men. My woman, my woman will literally say, oh, guys, oh, da, 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 but I love you. I love you. Gotcha. You know, so I don't have a real problem with that. I think the biggest mistake women make is they, they are terrible at attracting high value men. And then this just mm. distorts their view of men as a whole. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, and they have a flood of betas too, like that, distorting their view as well. Absolutely. So they're shit at attracting high value men. They're only fucking around with low value men and it's just a spiral. It's a circle. And it gets yeah. worse and worse and they just end up fucking all these losers and they hate men. And yeah. Goes, the cock carousel, yeah, through the 20s and shit. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So they're terrible at attracting high value men because what happens is they deal with betas so long that when they meet a high value man, they don't know how to act. Yeah. And, and, and this is one of the things with Eastern Europe is maybe it's because it's a poorer country and there's less economy, but it's also a cultural thing. They understand the best route to a high value man is through their beauty. Yeah. They know that. And in the West, we try and pretend that's a bad thing. Mm. There is absolutely nothing wrong with me liking a girl for how she looks. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It doesn't mean that's all I like about her. She can be a nice person too. But there's nothing wrong with me seeing her and going, fuck. She's yeah. hot. It's inspiring. Yeah, it's beauty. Absolutely. You yeah. know? Yeah. This is why wars were fought. Yeah. The Greeks and the Romans and shit. People died over chicks. Well, you the know? beauty too is also the genes. Like that's what you want to like put a baby in. Abso- I mean, there you go. Absolutely. So yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. And and yeah. women in the West have this idea that women that you should be liked for something more than how you look. Mm. You know, oh, no, it has to be like for what I think and this and this and this. And the reality is, sorry, feminists, sorry, we don't give a fuck. We don't, and, most uh, men don't, we on, do. On top of that, they think they have trash ideas. They're yeah. looking horrible. So yeah, it's like, you're exactly. like, where do you want to go there? Exactly. <laughs> I, I say this yeah. all the time. I, people have this weird conception that men and women need things in common. And I say, no, we don't. We, oh, yeah. need, we don't, men and women do not need that much in common. My girlfriend likes bullshit TV shows I don't watch. I like kickboxing and chess, and she's never done either of them. Yeah. What, what, we, what we need is a submissive woman, a dominant man, Great sex and and find each other physically attractive. And a lot of sex. And a lot of sex. Yeah. And and make some stupid jokes yeah. and have a good time. Done. We don't yeah. have to sit there and fucking like the same crap. I think Rolo is a saying others too that you know sex is the glue of a relationship. Absolutely. You know, less you have, less glue you have. Well, there you go. Well, False part. As soon as as soon as your woman won't sleep with you, you may as well just leave. Yeah. You literally, if your woman's yeah, exactly. saying I'm lying, yeah. just leave. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Know, and leave with some honor. I have the exact same opinion. You yeah. know. <laughs> Bye. Because <laughs> otherwise you're waiting for her to cheat. Yeah. And, and on top of that, while you're waiting for her to cheat, if you talk to another woman, you're the worst guy in the world. Well, it sounds super unhealthy too. Who the fuck wants to be in a relationship where you're not fucking all the time? That sounds like incredibly it's, stupid. It's pointless. Yeah. And 
what's, what's actually the, a healthy sexual dynamic because men have to do all the work is the man should be saying no. Yeah. My, my girl wants sex and all stuff, she doesn't gonna do anything. I'm the dude who's like, Shh, and so and so. What you're saying there is that men should be the leaders of the sexual component of the relationship. Men should be the leader of everything. Yeah. It's <laughs> 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 true. They should. Men should be the leader of everything. Yeah, yeah, I, I, agree, I, can't, I agree. I can't think of any. Yeah. I can't think of any socio dynamic. I can't think of any business dynamic. I can't think of any dynamic on earth that's better with a female charge. Yep. This is the reality. I agree. And, <laughs> and men have evolved to lead. Yeah. You look at a human from a. If you well, look at humans the one from thing a, I think women lead well is babies and children. They lead like that. Well, they, they're more closer, I think, to children. Yeah, absolutely. They're, they're fantastic reptile, at yeah. raising children. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but even, even then, specifically, too, even yeah. then, the man should lead the family. Yeah, of course, absolutely. You know? Yeah. But the woman should, yeah, she should do the baby stuff. Kind of like the hierarchy. The man leads the family. The, you know, she's beneath the man, and the woman, woman leads the children, kind of thing. My question is this: Okay, so if 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 the feminist imperative is is correct, and that this whole patriarchy idea isn't something that's evolutionary and natural, and mm. it's something that we We've instilled. Mm. How come it happened in every single society across the earth since the dawn of human time? Yeah, of course, Imagine yeah. the coincidence yeah. for the Aztecs and the Ming dynasty on opposite sides of the world, from yep. Brazil to China, yep. with the men to be in charge. Imagine the coincidence that the, in every society, the Eskimos in fucking sub-Saharan Africa, who yep. never met, yep. never spoke, that just by coincidence, a 50-50 coin flip, in every single society in history ever, yep. men were in charge. Yeah, it's a very but natural thing. If, it, it's, yeah. it's the way it's supposed to be. It's common the, sense. The math, the math doesn't add up any other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like men have evolved to lead, men should be in charge, this is how it is. And it's, it's just a new age think experiment that's trying to convince people that's not the case. Yeah. And it's garbage. Yeah. And, and, and it, I don't see society going anywhere better for it's it. It's dangerous garbage. Yeah, get us all killed, man. Fuck that. Yeah. Yep. Let's move on a little bit. Uh, so you, you mentioned England, you think, is gone. Yep, done. Uh, there's a couple of people still fighting for it. You have Paul Joseph Watson, Tommy yep. Robinson. Yep. So I could guys like that. Brexit, obviously. Yep. But your opinion, England's is totally fucked. Finish. Yeah. England would need a revolution today to try and undo the bad work, and, it and it's nowhere near coming. Damn. We don't have a single politician who's anywhere even 1% right wing. Every single politician's fully left. Uh, you would need like a wing. modern day Churchill, you're saying? Yeah, yeah you'd need something yeah. crazy to happen. Yeah. And, and the only people left in America who are resisting liberal indoctrination are the, are the Muslims, and there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah. And and this is why my view, once again, my conservative views are all skewed up, because I'm almost on the team of the Muslims now. Jesus. All, they're the, but they're the only people you have left who don't want transgenders in schools. Yeah. They're the only people you have left who don't want to tell kids that being gay is, is better than being heterosexual. They're very proudly the pro-family. Yeah, they're the yeah. only people they have left who have families and have kids. Yeah. They're the only people, like, you have no one, there's no other allies in the Western Europe besides yeah. them. So in some ways, yeah, they're destroying your culture, but in other ways, so are the liberals. Yeah. So it's like, oh, you yeah. know? And, and in the long run, and my view is super pessimistic, this Muslim's gonna win anyway. They're out breeding, and I think the average English woman has 1.6 kids, the average Muslim woman in England has like 6.8. Like they're just, shit. within 30 years, yeah. we're outbred anyway. So the yeah. fight's over, done, it's done. It's not even close. The, the population's gonna overpass us. So, at least they have ideals which don't completely go down the liberal lunacy. Yeah. And it's, it's amazing to me that the left, what's funny is their cognitive dis dissidents, the left, they idolize Islam and they idolize all their other bullshit and they're completely non-compatible. Yeah, yeah, so the yeah. left is sitting there going, what do I do? What do alliance. I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's yeah, weird. Yeah. But in the end, Islam will win because they always do because they're, they're uncompromising. We were yeah. talking earlier about frame. Muslims have the best frame on earth. Hmm. No, this is the rules. No, fuck you, I'll kill you now. I'll kill myself, I'll kill everyone. Yeah, That's how they are. Oh, <laughs> And you're like, they, oh, they take shit. it that far. Yeah, they take it that they far. Take it yeah. that far. Yeah. But and, and and you know, man, like I said, this is why I piss a lot of conservatives off, but this is the truth. A lot of the reason the Taliban are fighting Americans, a lot of the reasons they're they're literally fighting wars they can't win with an AK against a fucking predator drone, is because they're fighting for the right to to have their virgin wife in a burqa. Mm. Literally, pussy drives things on that level. Yeah. People don't understand that they look at the Western cultures. Pussy's powerful. The pussy's powerful. They yeah. look at Western cultures and look how Western women act and they think. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want my women to be like, there's no wives there. It's crazy. I want this. Yeah. And this is my society, and they're coming along telling me they're gonna blow this up and take this away from me. No, I want a virgin wife at 16 who's gonna obey me. That's what yeah. I want. And if I have to fucking die to protect it, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. And this is literally, the, the, that's the level. I had a friend who's a very, I won't say his name, he's, he's, you can Google him up, he's a really rich guy, lives in Dubai. And he comes to London to party all the time. And we're in the clubs, whatever, whatever. And he'll, he looks at me and says, look, look around. And we look around. He goes, there's girls here to fuck, but there's no wives here. Yeah. He goes, I'll, he goes, I'll fuck your, he, he says, I'll fuck your Western women, but I'm marrying a Muslim woman. Yeah. 
And it's like, this is how they view the world. America feels like that, man. There's plenty of girls to fuck, but it's, well, it's not the best in the world, but it's pretty good. Yeah. But, you know, to find a wife or a mother for your children is tougher than fucking nails. Tough. Yeah. Exactly. That's yeah, crazy. And this is why we are the age we are and we're not married. And if we lived in an Islamic country, we'd be married at 21. Yeah. And, we, and we would have five kids by now. Yeah. And, and this is the reality of, of the human condition. And this is the reality of the Western world. And most people don't want to accept it. We can talk about countries, we can talk about governments, all these things. Without children, there's no future and there's nothing else. So you destroy the, the, you destroy the motivation for people to have kids. You're yeah. going to lose to the people who do have kids. You told me about last night, you and your brother were talking about uh, Hungary. They have a really pro-family pro uh, tax code, right? Yeah, so Hungary, Hungary passed yeah. a law recently. If you have four or more kids, you never pay taxes for the rest of your life. That's amazing. Yeah, that is so bad. That is what the Western countries yeah. need to do. We need that in America immediately. We need to stop yeah. sending foreign aid immediately, mm -hmm. cut the foreign aid to zero, introduce that law to make up for the lack of tax, bam, yep. and you're gonna have American kids born on American soil. Fuck yeah. Instead of just importing people because every population is dropping. Yeah. Every population in the Western world's dropping. Every population, that, thanks to modern medicine, every population in the third world's exploding. Mm. Exploding, you have people, like Nigeria's population has doubled in 30 years or something stupid. And, and, and where's the future? It doesn't matter about policies, it doesn't matter about Trump, it doesn't matter about law. The future is who's left on the planet. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it ain't us. <laughs> it ain't us, bro. <laughs> Like, this is the reality. That's well put. The future is who's left. Well, the planet, like, who's left? Yeah, all that's gonna be kids left, and lives, yeah. All that's going to be left is are, are, um, the only people left who are having families and they're, and they're sticking by their morals and they refuse to give up are the Muslims. South America, you have some of this a little bit. Yeah, but, I mean, you do have some of it. But yeah. my, my, I think the future of, of Western Europe is Islamic for that reason. Yeah. And to a degree, that pisses me off. But then to another degree, I look at how the people who are supposed to be protecting the country are well, acting. Europe has a really long history of warfare and fighting and killing each other, too. So I'm kind of like seeing the Islam, you know, influx, or, you know, influx into that. Europe always kill, you know, they always kill each other and shit. So it's like, it's a clusterfuck like, incoming. Well, like, yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know what's going to go down. But I look yeah. at, I, I really am quite realistic and logical about the world that the, the weak mm. perish and the strong survive. Yeah. That's how it's always been. Yep. So if, if the guardians of Western society, I'm talking about Europe specifically, if the guardians of British society refuse to protect their own culture yeah. and they refuse to protect their society and they refuse to inspire people to have children and they refuse to inspire marriage and they want to just demonize men every chance they get and let in th millions of third worlders who don't play by the game, Whose fault is it that they're going to lose? It's yeah. their own fucking fault. They yeah. signed the bill to their own demise. Yeah. So what yeah, am I going to do about it? And they cheered about it. And you know, yeah, they're signal. happy for yeah, it. It's fucking Yay. crazy. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. all gay, and you can all come and have yep. families. It's like, well, fucking, then what the fuck do you think this is yeah, going to lead? No wonder like, you're going to die. So yeah. I just left. Yeah. I'm like, well, fuck this shit. I'm yeah. out. So it's garbage, man. It really is. America has a fighting chance. Eastern Europe has a fighting chance. But Western Europe fuck is 100 yeah. percent done. Yeah, I'm, I, I love the. Uh, I mean, I love America, but my second favorite country in the world right now is Poland. Yeah, I'm it's amazed. Awesome. This part of the world is so badass. Yeah, these people are. These people are happy. They're content. They're building families. They get along and shit. Yep. Um, it's not perfect, but I'm. I'm impressed, man. I can't wait to go to Romania and see more of it. it well, this is the thing, and 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 you know, this, and I'm a mixed race guy. I'm half black, half white. But also, you can talk. You can talk about multiculturalism and how it's a failed experiment. In yeah. all these countries, that are 99 percent native populations. Yeah. There's much lower violent crime. Yeah. This is this is statistical no, facts. I, ironically, I've never felt more well. I've fit, I've visited about, not 72 or whatever, I've visited about uh, 23, 24 countries now. Yeah. I've never felt more welcome in a country in the world. Yep. Outside of America, this is amazing. Yep. Like, and it's one of the safest countries you can walk around in. Yeah. Girls walk around at night, yeah. no problem. In yeah. Romania, I, I, I was in a taxi when I first moved there, and there's two girls walking about 3 o'clock in the morning. And I said, you don't see that in London. You don't see girls walking around at night. You get knifed or acid in your exactly. face. Exactly. Yeah. And he said to me, oh, but I'm Romanian. Romanians don't hurt Romanians. Uh, when, have you, when have you ever heard that in America? Yeah. Well, they're American. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go rape, kill, yeah. raw gun American. No one gives a fuck yeah. about We anyone. have a lot to learn from Poland in these Ev countries. Everyone's divided. Yeah. So they're like, oh, fuck him. He's this. He's that. Yeah. I'm this. You're that. Nah. He's Democrat. He's this. Yeah. He's that. that. And everyone's divided. And this is just how it is. And all this division is sown by the left anyway. Yeah. They're the most racist people of all, these fucking psychos. They see yeah. race in everything. Yeah. I don't give a shit if you're they're black. They're obsessed or, with race. They're obsessed with race. Yeah. I don't look at race. If you treat me with respect, I treat you with respect back. I don't give a shit. Yeah. But the left, even if you treat them with respect, because you're white, yeah. you're bad. Yeah. Well, these people are completely lost. And, yep. and, and they're, they're the ones who are going to end it. I think, uh, I think you mentioned this, maybe you mentioned this before, but the fall of Rome and how Rome didn't lose an external battle when it fell. It fell because in, there was infighting yeah. and there was a whole bunch of men who didn't want to join the army anymore yep. and they all got decadent and ate grapes and sat around. Yep. There was a lot then, of crazy shit too with women and like, you know, oh, yeah, like all, yeah, all the transgender shit. All this crazy shit yeah. happened, like yeah. just like now. Yep. And when the barbarians turned up and they needed an army, they said, well, why don't we just let some in instead and show them that it's better to be a Roman? Start yeah. letting them all in, yep. and then before you know it, the whole place is on fire. Yep. Bang. History's what, fucking history's repeating itself. itself. Like over like, and over that's again. how Rome fell, yeah. and that's how the West is going to fall. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to stop, man. It's, uh, 
It's just crazy, man. Just seeing history repeat itself. It's like we can wake up and observe this. We yeah. have enough, you know, technology. We have books. We have we can look at history and just put a stop to it. It's got to stop. Yep. That's my goal, man. I want to kill feminism. End it. I think it needs to die. I think it's gonna die. One, one, one way or another, it's gonna die. Yep. How that happens, you know, we're gonna find out. Well, I, so. well, I think uh, hopefully it happens the way through you waking people up. Yeah. This is the way we need it to happen. Fuck yeah. The only other way it's gonna happen is gonna be through some terrible event. Yeah. So, you well, know, you know Muslims happen. coming in and doing all that. They'll, they'll, they'll end feminism in a fucking heartbeat. So. <laughs> yeah, they're not either taking we shit. Can, either we can do it or they can do it. Yeah, like, we, take your pick. Absolutely, but yeah. they, ain't, they ain't taking shit. Yeah, they ain't right. taking shit from nobody. Yeah. So, you know, one of my favorite philosophers is actually a woman, Ayn Rand, and she had a saying that the most consistent wins yeah. in everything. Yep. And that's what I, that really kind of hit me when you said, uh, you know, they're, they're willing to kill themselves. Yep. That is how congruent their frame is. Absolutely. They will fucking blow themselves up. up. They won't play yeah. games. Just say, I'll blow myself up. If you're yeah. going to come here and try to tell me what to do, I'll blow myself up. Okay. okay. This is how they are. Let's get into some more, uh, some more questions here. So you talked to me last night about building a family. This is for one of my guys, a question I got for you. What's your quota for reproduction? What's, what's going on with that? Let's hear, let's hear it. So, um... I'm aiming for, I'm aiming for, uh, yeah, this is gonna piss off the trad cons again. <laughs> sorry, sorry, red pillars. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be having probably about eight or nine kids with about four or five different chicks. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, go big or go home, man. Yeah, because I, I, I don't see why not. Mm. And I really, once again, it's gonna piss off the feminists. Fuck, I'll piss you all off. Women are the oven, so they're gonna create my children, but I'm the man. And, yeah. and I'm gonna I'm gonna mold them in a way to be the way I need them to be. Mm. I, although you need a good mother who's dutiful and caring, you need a mother to provide them with their basic nutritional needs, their emotion, their emotional development, and who they are as people. I really believe is down to the father. I really believe that. Yeah. I think the woman kept some, keeps them fed and clothed, mm. but when shit really goes down, it's their dad's advice. Yeah, you know that's what I believe. The wisdom and the philosophy. It's the wisdom, the philosophy, all those yeah. things. So I know the kids are gonna be fantastic, no matter who the mother is. Yeah. So I can go pick up a girl today and have kids for today. I don't mm. mind. They're gonna be fantastic anyway because I'm Andrew Tate. Yeah. So, <laughs> so and Cobra because fucking Tate. The Cobra fucking Tate. And because I'm living in Eastern Europe, I don't have to worry about it. No one's gonna take me to court, no one's gonna destroy me with alimony. The laws here are a lot less crazy for that kind of stuff. It's completely less crazy. And yeah. also because I'm, I'm a foreign national, it's even easier. So I can't lose from a financial perspective. No mm. one can put me in jail. You know, I'm gonna give the mother the money she needs. If she gets too fresh, she can go hungry for a week and she'll know to be nicer to me. And everything's gonna be fine. So that's the reason I'm gonna do what I do and I'm gonna have a legacy from it and I don't see there's any reason not to. That, that's absolutely 100% my plan. And when people sit and say to me, oh, that's gonna make you a bad father, I disagree. Fathers have always been away from their kids. They were at sea, yeah. they, they were in the Navy, they were at war, they were in the mines, they were at work 20 hours a day. Kid, fathers have always been away from their kids. Yeah. They've always been temporary. To Building degree. civilization, Building bringing, civilization, bringing, home bringing the money home. They've yeah. always been temporary. Yep. So I don't have to go to work because I've got other ways to make money. So fine, I'm going to fuck some other girls, but I'll be back in a couple days. <laughs> It's the same thing. That's like almost your job anyway, though. Well, basically, yeah, to keep the cam girls running. So, you know, that, that, that's going to be my plan. And, 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 you know, people can sit there and go, oh, yeah, that's bad, whatever, whatever. When I'm 60, 70, and I have eight or nine kids, and they're all going to love me, and we're all going to get along fine, they're all going to be realistic about the fact there's a whole bunch of mothers, and when the sons grow up, they're going to understand why. You know, it's worth mentioning, uh, you know, Donald Trump, someone we're both a huge fan of, he has uh, children from three different women. Absolutely. He has Melania, uh, Ivanka, and then the other one, too, you know, yep. Tiffany, all that. Yep. So. It's, yeah. it's, it's, man, look at history. Name a powerful alpha from history who didn't have more than one wife. No. Name a king or a sultan or a sheikh who didn't have more than one wife and kids from different women. And you can also go, of course, all the way to Genghis Khan who had, who knows, thousand women or something. Yeah. It's a, this is, this is uh, hu human biological history. You can look at humans from a societal standpoint because society is saying one thing. Or you can look at us from an evolutionary standpoint where animalistically certain yeah. things happened. Alpha males had lots of kids with lots Red of women. Red fucking pill. This is how it was. Yeah. This is how men always have been. And now society has come along and they've, they've made up some rules. And I kind of understand why they've tried to make those rules because they believe it'd be better you know, for man, woman, kids, some tax code. Too, some of them aren't too bad. Like, yeah. you know, rape is illegal. Yeah, okay, of course. Fine. Yeah, yeah, completely. Yeah. But divorce rape is not, so that's a problem. It's <laughs> yeah. kind of stuff. Well, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, I understand why the rules exist, but also from a purely evolutionary standpoint, men have done a certain thing for a long time. Yeah. And I don't see why it should change. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, do you're going to be fucking, yeah. I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> this is great. You're going to love the speakers, man. You've met a few of them recently in D.C., yeah. Washington, yeah, yeah, D.C. Yeah, yeah. There's a whole, we had a whole fucking gaggle of guys like this, man. Just yeah. a whole fucking platoon. It's awesome. fucking great. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to actually Trump a little bit. So I mentioned a second ago. Yeah. How did you react to Trump's victory? I mean, did you see that coming? How, how, was, how was that day for you? You were in Romania, the UK? I, I was in the UK at the time. Okay. And, I, and when I went to bed, Hillary was winning. Yeah. Because it was overnight. Oh, fuck and, yeah. and I, I, I was And I didn't believe he stood a chance. Damn. I really thought Trump should win. Damn. But they're going to rig it. They're gonna say so. so when I woke up and saw Trump was the president, I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, no way. I couldn't what, believe it. What man. were people in the UK doing? Oh, everyone was having a panic attack. 
I, I was in Colorado. I went to a coffee shop. All these liberals and shit. They were like just like almost in tears. Everybody's just fucking like super quiet and shit. It was Insane. miserable. It was but, awesome. You know, but this is the thing about it. I learned a lot about people and a lot about the world mm. when Trump was elected because you learn that what I've deduced, and I'm always fucking right, so it's true, oh, yeah. is that the, the people who hate him, they, they don't hate him for any kind of logical reason. It's kind of like the same reason a rabbit will instinctively hate a fox. Mm. It's because the fox is, is a predator and they're a prey. So mm. when betas, although they live in a society where they're now safe, betas for a long time, mm. evolutionarily, have been historically prey to an alpha. That's mm. what a beta was. If mm. an alpha turns up and you're a little loser in caveman days, you're fucked. Yeah. So they look at him like a predator because they're prey. And although he's not gonna do anything to them, there's something instinctual inside of them that's just telling them, he's evil, he's evil, run, yeah, run. Yeah. And the same reason a rabbit hates a fox. Well, he's they stopping their free shit. They don't know why. Yeah, they yeah. don't know why they hate him, but they just know he's better. Are you familiar with RK selection theory? No. There's actually a, a gene theory with like literally rabbits they talk about and then like predators, like foxes and wolves. And they say that uh, rabbits, for example, are a good example of, uh, I think it's our selection. They just fuck, 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 yeah, fuck, yeah. fuck, fuck like crazy. And there's no thought into like, well, you know, rabbits don't take care of each other. There's yeah. no like, you know, they don't care if it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just want all the free shit, all the free grass and shit. Yeah. But then they hate the predator who wants to stop that shit or yeah. at least manage it better. Yeah. No more free shit, you know, and the immigration and all that crap. Yeah. Jay, you check it out sometime. You like it a lot. Look at, RK selection. Sounds exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. But, but, but basically, yeah, they look at him and they know he's superior to them and that mm. makes them instinctually dislike him because they're threatened by him. Yeah. They know that he's an alpha male and they're not. And that makes him instinctually threatened because historically he would have been the guy to whoop their ass. Yeah. And, and now they're sitting there and they hate him without logic or reason, even though he's improving their life. Yeah, and that's so, why it's endless why they hate him. No matter what, no he, matter does, what he does, always going to hate yeah, him. Yeah, it's instinctual. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and that's why they sit there literally in tears, genuine fear. I mean, the Mueller stuff, so we're in Poland here. The Mueller stuff just came out a couple days ago. That's all oh, done. Yeah. And even now, they still fucking hate him. Like, they, they can't give it up, even with like clear you know, evidence and all this shit, or lack, total lack of evidence. It's illogical. Yeah. Yeah. It's illogical, and they don't want to make sense. They don't care because they're emotionally driven people. It doesn't yeah. matter how much you tell them the truth. They, they're emotionally driven, and that's why arguing with them is always a waste of time. Yeah, because yeah, they're becoming like women. It's yeah. all emotions, emotions, it's all emotions. emotions yeah. yes, sir, it's crazy. Fuck yeah. So let's talk about the convention a little bit. You'll be speaking up here at the Poland convention soon, Warsaw, Poland, this July. Yep, I should be here. Yeah, what are your I'm thoughts a... on the convention and what you've seen so far? I mean, you haven't been at the convention itself, but you know what we're doing. I've seen a lot of the YouTube videos. I think yeah. it's fantastic what you guys are doing. Thanks, it's, it's great that some things Fuck yeah. yeah. Some things need to be said that aren't said anywhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the reality of the world. They need to be said. And we live in a world now where social media and everything is so heavily policed. Yeah. The only time you can say some of this stuff is in a convention. Yeah. Because, you know, the, and this is, it's a very safe space. And this is where a lot of our fight is, <laughs> this is where a lot of our fight is hardest, is that yeah. the people with the biggest control over populations in the world mm. are all censoring us, yeah. literally. To like, control what you say and what you think. And what you see. Yeah, what you see, yeah. You know, so yeah. They, they, they write a little algorithm on Facebook and they change the order of things appearing. Yeah. And it changes people's minds, millions and millions of people overnight. Yeah. Never so, mind hard censoring that shut you off like Alex Jones. Exactly. Yeah. You've just, had some of this too, I've right? I've been banned eight times yeah. on my ninth count. Yeah, so, yeah. like, it's crazy. And, and, like and a cat. Like, He's got, like, nine lives and shit. <laughs> now I'm at the point where I just come back to piss him off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just good. pop up again. Good. But, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all for it, man. Some people never die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. yeah so, I don't know how I don't get banned. I just keep saying shit. Nothing happens. I don't know. You do, you're doing we'll good, see. bro. We'll you're see. doing good. Fuck yeah. But, um, yeah, so it, it's important. And, and it's important that we meet and we say these things in person because on social media, just, it's going to come back to bite us or it's going to be censored yeah. or destroyed. Yeah. So it's, That's why I love actually filming it so much, man. All these cameras and photography and videos. Yeah. They live for, you know, some people never die. Videos never fucking die. Exactly. Just keep right. going, man. Exactly. It's like digital gold. I hope this pisses off people in 100 years. Oh, yeah, it definitely will. <laughs> I'm hoping 300 years. Dude, thousands of years. Fuck it, man. Yeah, yeah. put it on some yeah. never ending website. Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. Yeah, we can also, uh, if you're, you're welcome to come out to any of the conventions this year, man. We got the Patriarch Edition coming up, of course, Rebuilding the Patriarchy. We got Poland here, yeah. got Orlando later in the year, and the uh, 22 Con team. You're welcome to all of them, 100%. Perfect. Thank you very yeah. much, man. I Fuck appreciate yeah. that. Fuck yeah. Thank you. So you're known for running a huge uh, cam site, all this like, you know, cam girls, shit like yep. that, webcam girls. What do you think? Can you tell us a little bit about why men do that and how that actually works, like behind the scenes? Okay. Not behind the scenes, but. Yeah, absolutely. I'll tell you all about it. So, quick plug here anyone who wants to run a cam site, I have a course on my website that will teach you how to do it. Um, webcamming is a business that's growing. It's not going anywhere. It's okay. going to get bigger and bigger and bigger because betas are getting more and more common. And these are the guys who, they're all Democrats. And women see it as a good way to make money, right? Well, for women, yeah. it's a fantastic way to make money. Yeah. You know, you can sit at home on your computer in your pajamas. Just sell your sexuality. Yeah, there you you go. sell your sexuality. Yeah. And the greatest thing about in it pajamas. is, in your pajamas, literally. <laughs> yeah, literally. Like, like my girls, they put makeup on and all the sexy underwear on for like six days a week. And then on the seventh day, they'll have a no makeup chill day and get paid more money. Yeah. To do wow. less. Wow. 
Because the guys Feed like pictures yeah, shit. weird shit. Like, fuck weird shit. It's, it, but but for, it's not even just about sex because porn is effectively free now. It's about yeah. attention. It's about interaction. Yeah. And these betas do not get genuine interaction from hot girls. Engagement is the new cocaine at Lattimore. Absolutely. That's yeah. all it is. It's purely engagement. There's mm. loads of guys paying these girls who don't want sex. Well, they want. They'd love to have sex with a girl, obviously, but they just yeah. want to talk about their dog yeah. and UB40 and just the garbage. gender gender relations are that fucked up. Yeah. They're it's that all, fucked it's all up. Gone. And they're fucked up for a variety of reasons. One, because you have a whole bunch of betas who've been told to act beta to get girls, it doesn't work, and then they end up screwed up and end up on campsites. Mm. Two, we live in a world now where everything's so much more connected. If you lived in Nebraska, how often did you see a 10? Mm. Like you went through life, you married a five, the world was full of fives. Now you've got guys living in fuck, butt fuck where, wherever, looking on Instagram, seeing these hot chicks. And they, they fuck <laughs> no, but it's true. And they're like, well, I want to talk to a girl like that. Yeah. You know, it's another thing. And, and, and all of this adds up together and you just end up with this huge plethora of guys who are literally willing to pay money to get attention from beautiful women. Yeah. That's, that's all it simply is. It's simply an attention market. Damn. And the women just monetize their attention and they say, yeah, I'll give you attention if you pay X amount. And that's how it goes. And it's a fantastic business. The girl profits. In many ways, the guy's happy. I don't think you're even exploiting the men. People sit there and go, oh, you're exploiting men. Well, people accuse me of both. They say I'm exploiting women, they say I'm exploiting men. Yeah, yeah, I'm not exploiting women because I'm making women rich. So yeah. how the fuck am I exploiting women? Yeah. Dumb. I'm making myself rich, but I'm making them rich. And two, you're not exploiting men because these men are happy with the interaction. A lot of these men are married. Wow. They've got a wife at home who doesn't fuck them. Yeah. They've got kids who don't respect them. And they're literally the only time they smile at all is when they get their laptop out and talk to this yeah. hot 19-year-old on the other side of the world. Jesus. And it's sad, yeah. but it genuinely it keeps them out of suicide. Yeah. Genuinely. I believe it. Yeah. Genuinely. Yeah. So, you know, this is just the whole relationship with the webcam market and it's growing by the day. Gotta it, bump them off from the webcam shit to the PhD course, man. Well, it's well the, cross promotion. The, the, absolutely. Yeah. And this is what the PhD course explains how I got the girls to work for me and the cam course is the ins and outs of running a cam business. Yeah, yeah. But a, a cam business yeah. is, is, is a fantastic business because it ain't going anywhere. And yeah. it's online money and it's 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Yeah. Uh, Christmas, New Year, the busiest times. There's yeah. lonely dudes on Christmas yeah. on there just fucking sending money. No, I think you're responding. It's, it's a response to a problem. It's a response to a failing culture. Absolutely. Yeah. And, 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 you know, it used, to, for worse. it used to kind of be like strip clubs and that kind of thing, but they're kind of slowly going out of business and like everything else, like yeah. every other business, it's all going online. We tried going to strip club last night. Shit was close. Yep. Literally close. Yep. I was like, what the fuck? It's all online now. So yeah. you've got these girls who are online, and I know like a lot of the red pill guys, oh, these cam whores and stuff. Yeah. I've worked with over 75 girls, and I can tell you genuinely, 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 they're not whores. The whores are out being a stripper or being a, a escort because it's easy. Yeah. Being a cam girl isn't actually that easy. It's still eight hours a day. Mm. You've got to be happy for eight hours a day. Pretend to be happy. Yeah, yeah. Smile, you're, you're, yeah smile. You yeah, can't yeah. be a miserable bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to be happy for eight hours a day. You've got to remember people's names. You've got to remember their dog, their cat, their problems, 20 different dudes. Yep. This, that. You need a smart girl with a good temperament who's a nice person to be a good cam girl. Yeah, these are more advanced cam girls because every girl now can get into like sugar babying, premium snapchats. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, that's really basic. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's common. Yeah, that's yeah, basic yeah. shit. Entry level shit. Yeah. yeah. But if you're going to be like a real high level cam girl, yeah, yeah. You, you need to be a hard worker and you need to be intelligent. Yeah, I've heard true. this, yeah. yeah. This is true. And people say, oh, they're dumb. They just get their tits out for money. So if you just get your tits out, you're not going to get any money. So like, well, would you not do it if you were in that situation? Like, exactly. maybe you would. You probably would. So my best cam girl can make $2,000 a day. Wow, yeah. It's seven days a week. Damn. You know, so, it, like, and people are going to go, oh, she's a hoe. She's sitting at home in her bed making $2,000 a day. Yeah. Fuck. You could sit in your pajamas and that? make two thousand dollars. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. like so. I think it's I think it's a reaction to because all of the customers are from Western Europe and America. Yeah, there's no customers from Eastern Europe. There are yeah. no customers from the Middle East. I believe there are that. no customers. There's all just a bunch of. We're here in Poland. You're just surrounded by like hot, attractive women who are feminine, who yeah. are like who act like women. It's it's crazy. I've and never you, seen anything like it. Absolutely. And yeah. if, and if you had a whole bunch of money here, you'd never be lonely. But America's got that weird culture where you can yeah. still be rich and still not get girls and just be a beta and just yeah. be a loser. Yeah. So these are the dudes, because it's not a cheap habit. It's not yeah. a cheap habit. These yeah. dudes are on there spending money. Yeah. So they're not broke. Tipping, all this bullshit. All that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, the camming industry is, is a huge one. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. And uh, it's just a reaction to a whole bunch of betas desperate for de just thirst. Yeah. It, the, the, this, it's all just thirst. You look at these girls with their three million followers on Instagram. Yeah. That's just thirst. Yeah. So all the girls who's monet doing is monetizing it. I, I, I understand it even better now, though, that there is a thirst in America and the West for, for all kinds of uh, femininity. It's like fucking gone. Yep. These women act like men, and then it's like, you have nothing left except maybe some physical stuff online. Thirst for femininity. It's a desert. That, that's it's a exactly. Desert. You just put it. You just fucking put it in. Thirst for femininity. Because yeah. I've had, I've had guys literally say to my girls, "You're the first girl who speaks nicely. Yeah. You're the only girl who I've seen talk like this. You're the yeah. only girl who does her nail. Like the yeah. basic shit. Yeah. They're just like, wow, she's a pedicure oh, and yeah. a pet manicure, and Dude. she's and she's polite. Women in America are a wreck, man, compared yeah. to what I'm seeing here. They yep. they dress like shit. They act like men. It's they they don't have manners. It's unattractive. They're, yeah, they're unattractive. It's yeah
on, and if you read the newspaper, every once in a while you'll see some random guy in America sends a quarter of a million dollars to some Romanian camera or something. Because <laughs> I'll send you the articles, bro. It's real. Because they like fall we had a great in love. day they fall, at the they fall, they, fall in love, they fall in love with these chicks, yeah, and yeah. she's she's the only person in his whole life who's nice to him, yeah. and no one else ever is. Yeah. And he dies, he leaves all his money in his will to a cam girl instead of his wife. Yeah, and that's, that's just that's <laughs> how it is. Sweet revenge. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. my girl, she had a guy from Sweden once, and he paid her a thousand euro a day for about three months. Wow. And what he did was he was going through a divorce, and yeah. he sent her pictures of his wife. And she had to insult his wife, and he recorded it all <laughs> and put it into a long compilation and gave it to her after the divorce. And yeah, that, was yeah. pretty, that was pretty gangster. Wow, but, that's, but, a, that's awesome. It was pretty awesome. But yeah, yeah it's, it's an interesting industry. But Cam yeah. girls making making Sweden great again. It's <laughs> fucking great. But yeah, it's it's just it's just a reaction to the, yeah. the sexual marketplace we live in. It's a that's right. A whole, right. whole bunch of dudes who ain't got their shit. Together. I gotta say, I'm, I'm I'm particularly impressed that you were like this alpha bad boy. All these fucking cars and shit. The women. And then you run a great business. You're an entrepreneur. Absolutely. It's fucking wonderful. And, and this is the thing about it. I, I, I have always, I think the reason I'm successful is, although I play this, okay, I'm not going to play it. Well, yeah. entrepreneurship's fucking tough, first of all. Any business. So Any you, business you do well. It's it awesome. Exactly. And also, people think because I worked with girls, it was all just a big sex fest. Da, da, da. Mm. I treated it like a business. Yeah. There's a whole, you know, fair enough. Okay, I slept with a bunch of them. I have some cool pictures. How many years has it been running to? Five years now. Yeah, it's solid. Yeah, yeah, real solid. So, and in total, I've had 75 girls work for me. So during that time, it means a whole bunch of girls I didn't sleep with. There's a whole bunch yeah. of girls that are purely platonic. Da da da. I'm sure you know, like a business. Most businesses are dead by five years. Yeah, I think like 80, 90 percent or something like that. By Absolutely. 10 years, 95 percent. So. Absolutely. I mean, and, and at my peak, I made I made 400 thousand dollars one month. Yeah. Wow. So you know, I made a lot of money through this business, and I was I was a lot bigger than I am now. I've just got like a few of my top top girls left. Yeah. But, um, You're also getting older, life's so you have different priorities and shit, doing exactly, you gotta do. Exactly, so yeah. I'm gonna look to have kids and stuff. So, but Fuck it's yeah. a, it's a fantastic business, it really is. And I, I, and I say this, I know this pisses off the trad cons, but I'll say to any dude out there, you wanna start a camp business, I'll tell you how. Yeah. Do it. Jimmy, all you need is one, one, if you had one girl at home in your bedroom made an extra thousand dollars a week, still money. Yeah. What the fuck? Like, you know, and, and, and these dudes are gonna, it's kinda like an alcoholic, I, I say this all the time. If you, if you own a liquor store, an alcoholic comes in and you refer, you refuse to serve him, is it gonna stop him drinking? He's no. gonna go buy it from somewhere else. I say that about Tinder, you know, women, people criticize me similar to you. Yeah. I, I fuck these girls on Tinder and Instagram yeah. and shit. Not as many as you, but I try. And they say, you know, I'm enabling that. It's like, I'm not enabling they're that. They're gonna fuck someone? I, yeah, they're gonna fuck somebody. And I'm like, when they bang me, I'm like the 29th dude that year they fuck her. So, you know, yeah, whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. I, I, what am I gonna, I didn't do anything about the other 28 dudes that fucked her. Exactly. So, yeah. and it's yeah. exactly the same with the alcoholic thing. So you're not gonna yeah. stop someone being an alcoholic. Yeah. So if these dudes are gonna go online and send their money away, yeah. which you're gonna do, yeah. they may as well send it to me. Because yeah. who else are they gonna send it to someone else? <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. that's just how I view it. So yeah, yeah. It, I don't think I'm damaging the West. The West has problems. We've just discussed them. I'm yeah. exploiting them to make myself a millionaire. Yeah. Well, oh well. Yeah, you're not causing this to happen. I'm not causing it to it. happen. Yeah. It's happened already. Yeah. And if I stop, it's still going to happen. Yep. So that's right. it is what it is. Yeah. Well, man, it's been great talking to you. Really Amazing. fucking awesome, man. Thank great you, great you. Thank you. I can't wait to hear your speech at the convention. We'll see what it's about. How badass it's going to be. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm hoping it's one of the top ones. I think it will be. But you yeah. got to be good competition, man. You got yeah. some badass guys to roll up with here. I'll put something together. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in today. Anthony Dream Johnson here from Plenty of Studios. This is Cobra Tate. He's on YouTube at Tate Speech. That's right, right. slash Tate, Tate Speech. Speech. I'll put the link in the description in the video. He's also on uh, Instagram, easy to find. Yep, Cobra, Cobra Tate. Tate. Cobra Tate. Twitter, that changes over time. Changes all the time. Yeah, so Instagram's the best. Yeah, yeah, cool. Badass. And meet him, uh, another speaker. There's over 20 of them this uh, July in Warsaw, Poland at the 21 Convention 2019 of Warsaw, Poland. Thanks, appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Feminism is the ultimate hate supremacist movement. It's a hate movement against 3.8 billion men. You see New York Times, you know, on the new editorial board, you know, hate, you know, kill all men. Just kill any man that you see. You see Christian mothers of six talking about, you know, open castration or castration of men. That has become normalized for American women today. And it's getting worse every day, every month, every year. So we see women now marching in the streets by the millions. No other hate movement in history has scale to that level. In 2019, the war on feminism goes global. Feminism has of course infected Europe as well. Feminazis have overrun Europe. We need to fight back. We need to defend ourselves.
Warsaw.